I'll make a video. Okay, hey guys, it's Monday, and this week's topic is, or fuck. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and this week's topic is Harry Potter. And the questions we're all supposed to be answering, I'll just go down the line, is how long have I been reading or avoid reading or being a fan? And I've really been a fan since, I want to say, like, late fourth grade, probably fifth grade was when I really hit them. It was whenever the first movie came out, I remember seeing the movie and then I was like, hey, that's freaking awesome. So I went and read the books and I really super enjoyed them. I remember there was one point where I was like reading them and I didn't know the difference between like the movies to the books. Like I like pictured it so well. But yeah. The next one is What House Am I In? And I'm good old Slytherin and no, I'm not evil. I hate it when people... You know, that Zach made a good point when he said saying all Slytherins are evil is like saying all Germans during World War II were Nazis. It's a complete lie. I mean, obviously, like, it didn't portray this very well in the movies, and I think this is what made me most angry about the second half of Deathly Hallows, was when they sent all the Slytherins to the dungeons. Because you know what? There was a handful, a handful of students that stayed. I'm one of those handful of students. Just because I'm in Slytherin, and I am one step ahead of the game, and I am witty in response to a lot of things, does not mean that I am evil. Okay, the next question is favorite book, and then followed up by favorite movie. I think my favorite book is book number six, because you get a lot of Voldemort history. Unfortunately, that was not portrayed in the movie. Essentially, movie number six was just like, we're going to hope you read the book, and just splurt out a bunch of crap about horcruxes. And... You know, I was really upset that there was absolutely no Helga Hufflepuff anywhere in any of the movies. Can I just, like, say that? Like, that is what pissed me off. I know it's not a central part to the plotline, but you don't understand where the fuck this cup came from and why the hell they're looking for it. It's so weird. And, like, they just gave you, like, a shit response. Like, oh, Bellatrix is angry that they thought that they'd been inside the vault. You know what? I'd be pissed if somebody tried to raid my bank account, but that doesn't mean I'm hiding a horcrux in there. So... <laughs> so, you shut up. <laughs> okay, so my favorite movie, I think I'm going to have to go with movies, movie one and then followed up by movie two, just because Chris Columbus really understood family entertainment. And he really understood what it meant to take such a large franchise at the time and convert it into a movie without compromising acting or plotline. Because obviously, if he would have pulled an Aragon or City of Ember or even, um, what was the other one that was really, really terrible? There was, like, a one-shot movie that was horrible. But anyways, if he would have done that, the series would have ended with number one. And I mean, to be totally honest, that's why I don't read a lot of books that have become movies, is because they just stop at movie number one. I mean, I'm hoping to God that The Hunger Games is so much better than that, and they do exactly what they did with The Hunger Games, that they did with Harry Potter, because they need to have a solid foundation and stick to the book. If they don't stick to the book, there's no movie. So, yeah. Um, reaction to the newest movie. I hated it. I thought it was horrible. It was so goddamn bad. I was so pissed off. What was all this shit about people disintegrating everywhere? Like, Voldemort and Bellatrix just disintegrated. You don't just disintegrate. <sighs> Anyways, that, that made me angry. And so did the falling off the cliff thing. It's like, why the hell would you waste my time and everybody else who read the book, who knows what's going to happen, by throwing in some god-awful segment about them just, like, apparating through the air fighting? That shit was terrible. Also, I don't... God bless you. Thank you. Also, I don't agree with the whole 3D thing because every other movie every other movie was in 2D. I don't need to see the last one in 3D, just to be totally honest. Um it was it was just so bad to me. And there was like I will admit that the Prince's Tale was the most beautiful little baby that was just handed to us on screen. And that I did cry when Harry said, I, I'm i ready to die. It was, it was sad. And like when he was talking about the dying scene. But yeah, other than that, I did not like it. I thought it sort of ruined it. And like you can't build up a movie like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 and just 
bleh, on it. That's that's what I feel like it was. Anyways, this is gonna be a really long, long video for me because Harry Potter is like my life. Anyways, my favorite character, as I agree with Katie and Robbie, is Snape. Snape is not only the best written character in the series, he is the best written character I've ever read. Apart from maybe, maybe Gatsby in The Great Gatsby. But you know what, Snape is just the most layered character I've ever read. And he is so, he's like an onion. Sort of like Shrek. You just need to peel back all the layers. But it was so awesome to just discover his storyline because it was almost separate from the Potter storyline. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, uh, what would my Patronus be? I've sort of decided that it would be a dog. Shut the fuck up. My Patronus would be a dog. And it would be a dog because I love my baby. And my baby is Jasmine. And I'll show her in another video because she's not really going to come up here because it's really hot here. But she she's the most cutest little baby I've, I've ever had the pleasure of owning. Yeah. And then, apparently that should have filled the video. I'm pretty sure it has. But I also have some other things to talk about. Yeah, this video is already like six and a half minutes. But anyways. So, our newspaper. Oh, this, this is before the newspaper. So, in order to get the first seat at the movie theater, we showed up at noon. We were there for 12 hours, proudly waiting in costume. So I just, I just want to show you guys this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, Pottercast spell on Rylander. Yeah, yeah. And you see that person right, right there? That's me. That's me. Front page in color on our newspaper. We only have like 8,000 people in our town, so to make front page is pretty impressive. Also, we were interviewed by the news, and I'll leave a description down below. So we had like a shit ton of fun, just 12 hours of sitting in the theater. Um, it was, it was much more worth it for the experience than it was for the movie, but nobody at the news or the newspaper needs to know that. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I'm sad it's over, but in a way it'll never be over. It's sort of like Dumbledore dying. He'll never be gone from the school as long as those who are loyal continue him. So I suppose that's exactly how Harry Potter works. And I'm just really excited for my kids to be able to read it and just to share it with the world. Also, I found out my roommate reads Harry Potter, so all is good. And this is a really long-ass video, so I'm just going to stop and just go. So I'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye.